a very warm welcome in today's video we'll look into how we can put down a web server with a simply a singly crafted packet actually the basic idea refers to the talk on communication congress uh, which is chaos communication congress which held at 27 to 29 december 2011 at berlin so what the basic idea deals with is first of all we need to know about hash tables what basically hash tables are and uh, these hash tables has some values using which they map the key values what basically means is that suppose you have to find out all the values for a particular name then you need to implement the hash tables these hash tables are data structures and for more information you can log into wikipedia and here is the link for the article and it's a very good article which will tell you more in details about hash tables so what we are going to do today in the demonstration part is on the windows 7 machine we'll be running a web server and the attacking machine we'll be using is the backtrack operating system the code written is in java and uh, the name of the jar file is down the server dot jar so let's have a look first of all we have the victim configuration this is the vam server which is online this is the vam server and if you want to access the vam server we can simply do 127.0.0.1 and here is the vam server these are the pages which are loaded on the vam server suppose you see this and uh, these are some of the shells which we use for various other hacks so this is a simple web server which is running and uh, let's see the pr uh, computer process which is being used at this time this is the performance of the computer the cpu usage is 18% 16% and the memory uses 2.4 gb so what the basic idea behind this video is what we are going to do is we are going to send a simply crafted packet from other machine to our vam server and the cpu usage of this particular computer or virtually this web server will be 100% and the server will hang and is being down so that other users cannot access this particular web server all the website hosted on the web server are not accessible using this method all the sites all the web servers which use php versions asp dot net version python are vulnerable to these attacks and there are many more scripting languages and web servers which are uh, which can be attacked using this method so let's start our process here you can see the cpu usage is 9 16% and let's put it on full screen here you can see just let's move on to the attacking machine this is our attacking terminal and what i'm going to do is i'll simply want to check whether i can connect to the system dot 1 is the ip of the system and here we can see we are connected to the system let's log in to the system suppose i am connected to the system using firefox so i can see the configuration which we have seen in previous these are the shells which we can use and this, these are the websites somehow this is a facebook phishing working so these are some of the websites which we can access on a particular web server so what basically we need to do is we have a code using which we can send a simply we can simply send a crafted packet to the web server and thus making the cpu usage of that computer 100% so let's see how we can do it linux slash hash dos and by the way if you all are interested to learn more about what basically is being done behind the hash dos attack 
then you can log in to Kiosk Communication Congress page on Facebook. You can find it on the Hackwave page. I have created the Chaos Communication Congress page which includes all the latest videos about all the talks which held at 27 to 29 December 2011 at Berlin in Chaos Communication Congress. So let's have a list and this is down the server dot jar which is being prepared and let's start that. down the server dot jar i'm running this file so this is the interface using which we are going to send the command to the web server dot 244.1 is the web server and it is a php web server we can use nmap to identify the web server and what all what are the configurations of the web server what i'm going to do is this is a typically a size of the packet we can do any of these things the kilobytes will let you put down a web server suppose if you are using a 200 kb of a packet then you can put down a web server for 20 minutes or so and if you are using 7400 uh, packets kilobytes of a packet then it may do uh, for 74 minutes or so so let's start i'm using 7400 i'll loop it indefinitely by the way in the meantime i'll close down the particular web server in order to maintain my system from not being hanged much so let's do it i'll simply do a start first of all let's you all have seen that we are connected to it and let's start the system When we do have seen this, these are red, then you can see my mouse is blinking and here you can see the CPU usage is 100% and the cmd.exe you can see the process is being very slow you want to see the IP config and it is I'm using the local wireless ethernet so the IP of this particular system is 244.1 and here you can see the CPU usage is 100% and the system is being very slow so in order to protect my video, let me just stop the attack. And the attack is being stopped, but uh, due to the hash table collision, the web server will be affected up to uh, 84 minutes or so. So in the meantime, we need to put down the web server in order to uh, set it back. So you, here you can see it is uh, CPU is usage 100% and the process responsible for this is the Apache HTTP PD. We need to see the processes from all users and here is the here you can see it is 79-78% and so and control shift escape you can see the performance of this particular system is 100% so what I should do is, I should put down the server and as soon as I exit, it will take one minute or so to get back to the original configuration and the, to put down the CPU usage. What basically HashDoz does is, it sends a packet 
to the particular center of the hash dos and uh, the collision due to the collisions of the hashing functions the server is blocked and the cpu usage is 100% here you can see now it is put down and uh, the apache httpd apache server is put down hence we get back to normal cpu usage so i hope you all know what a hash dos is for more information you can view the video on facebook page the chaos communication congress tab on the facebook page of hackwave so thank you for watching have fun